Hello friends and today we are going to talk about course problem. What is course problem? Course stands for cross origin resource sharing. It means let's say you are working on a microservice architecture and you are have a separate front end and separate back end. Let's say let's assume your front end is written in some front end application, front end language like React or Angular and your back end is Spring Boot or maybe some different language. Now when you try to access backend rest api from front end you'll be seeing that that the api or the rest api which you're trying to fetch from that specific origin that has been blocked by due to that has been blocked due to course policy now it's, what is this course policy well the well the course says or course allows well the course allows a web page to request additional resources into browser from other domains like fonts, CSS or static images and if we are not enabling it by default it's not enabled and if you are not ena enabling it we will be seeing that errors so now there are two ways to enable that first one it's like using controller in that also we have two approaches it's like either we can specify or we can enable a specific method or we can enable for all methods and then we can make it enable using global levels so let's see how to do that so for simplicity i have created a So if you see this is my application this is my Spring Boot project and I have created a method over here which is course testing and let's see and this is my react application from where I'm I'm, I'm gonna call that method and this is my react application from where and this is my react application from where I'm going to call uh, course testing method you can see the name is same so if you see this is my application this is my Spring Boot project and I have created a method over here which is course testing and and this is my react application from where I'm going to call uh, course testing method you can see the name is same Now let me start the service. Now you can see application is up on port 8080. Now let me start the front end application. And if you see when I'm trying to access it, it is throwing me course exception. It is throwing me that it, it is saying that it has been the request has been blocked because of course policy. So now let's go to backend. Try to make method level change so that we can just make a request or we can only enable for that specific request. So if you see here I'm mentioning I'm specifying from where the origin is coming and which origin or to which origin it has to allow the request. So now let me restart the application. So application is up. Let me go let me go over here, refresh it and see. I should get some response over here. So if you see we can see the number of uh, we can see the output so we are not seeing that course error right now course policy right now now let's see if in case I'll change the 
because this time we have only make made changes only for a specific method so let's see if i'll try to access another method what will happen so i'll go over here now let me try to access this method which i haven't make it enable on the server side so let me restart the app so let me see in the console so i should get some error some course error because we haven't enabled that method which we are calling right now refresh now we are getting that exception again because we specified only for one method now let's see if in case i want to specify for all methods in the controller class how to do that so for that i'll go to controller cut and paste it on the top now restart the app now i make it enable for all methods so let's go to the front end side and see when we are calling the method what will happen let me clean everything and refresh it we are not seeing anything over here because it doesn't have any data at all so let me go and change it to now let me refresh the page and if you see we are able to see the response as well now there are scenarios that we don't want to make changes into the controller class so for that also we have one way to to achieve that we can make course enable at a global level so let's see how to do that for that i'll go to my application class main class it now to enable course for the whole application i'll be using I, i'll use web mvc configure and i'll add course registry into that so let's see how to do that i mean as i said i'm using web mvc configure and i overwrite a method add cross course mapping and here i allowed everything which is coming from this origin now let me go to let me save it and from the controller let me comment this piece and now okay stop to go now let me restart it again now go back to front end refresh the page and we can see the data even though we haven't we removed everything from the controller class so these are the three math three ways to to so these are the three ways to enable cards to enable course policy so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching